other forms of marketing, such as uh, email and internet marketing. Um, what we do is uh, our company has been in business for nine years. Um, we have about 72,000 customers using direct mail through us. Uh, we also have uh, built this system for some large customers, uh, and it's been running in the background of our company for about seven years, believe it or not. And now we have integrated those tools so with direct mail manager so small businesses can have access to the same tools that um, everyone else does that our big uh, big businesses do and it enables you to mail one card at a time uh, which is probably the best part about it and so no minimums and it changes uh, the landscape of direct mail marketing greatly so the first thing i want to talk about here is um, the Pricing um, and how you sign up for Direct Mail Manager. So I'm going to click on the pricing tab here on the top. And what we have is we've got three types of memberships. Our free membership is a basic membership. Um, and it, uh, each card, that, each postcard that you mail you, uh, that you pay for costs a little bit more with the free membership. The gold membership is what's required to uh, communicate with Batchbook. Um, you can see here it integrates with the software and we offer a three day trial. Or I'm sorry, three day, 30 day trial on the gold membership. So you can try it out and see if you like it and only pay for the postcards that you mail. I'm going to scroll down just a little bit here and you can see um, the different types of pricing. When I talked about the free membership, you get a higher flat rate pricing. It doesn't change no matter how much you mail. Um, it's an outstanding price, uh, but you get a much better price if you have a gold or platinum membership. 42 cents for a four by six postcard and 63 cents for a five and a half by eight and a half. Everything is mailed first class and leaves this building in 24 to 48 hours. Right now we're about a 24 hour turnaround time. Okay. So the first part of any project that you have for direct mail is after you sign up your account here, you're going to log in to the system. I'm going to log in here. After you log into the system, you'll be brought to the main home page, and the home page is where everything is kept for you. It's easy for you to find um, mailing lists, it's easy for you to connect to software here. Um, this is where all your campaigns are, are uh, stored as well as access to the artwork that you may have. So the first thing that every um, campaign needs, just like an email campaign, you need to design the artwork or you need to upload your artwork. So what I will do is you click on the create new design on the top here or the button down on the bottom, but I'm gonna click this one. And we give you a couple options of how to get your artwork into the system. The first one, is if you have your own four by six or five and a half by eight and a half uh, inch postcard, you can upload it here. Simply click this, you can upload a PDF or a JPEG. You do the front first, then the back second. It's very simple, we call it a self-proofing. Then the other option is if you have a publisher file or a Word document or you don't wanna do the self-proofing, you can upload any file directly to us from here and we can put it in, proof it to you and put it in the system for you. Anything that you upload or design online shows up in this area, which is the save designs. And then our the one most powerful part of this tool is our patent pending design software. So the design software here is on the bottom. These designs are free. They are based on, I'm gonna click the edit button. They're based on your design profile, which is um, information you fill out about your company. It can be updated at any time. Um, images. QR codes even, and uh, logos, everything is in that, um, in your profile. So the advantage of that is that now I can go pick one of these designs. I'm gonna go pick cleaning services. I'm gonna click view designs. And what's happening now is the patent pending software is merging all of our templates for cleaning services. This is a five and a half by eight and a half. It's merging them all together with your profile and we'll show you completed postcards as you see them loading here. So I'll click on the wood floor cleaning 
and all my information is here. From here, I can uh, view as a high resolution PDF. I can save the design or I can create a campaign if everything looks good. The other option is you can edit with your online designer and the online designer uh, is a flash based designer you can use to edit this further if you wanted to add photos or additional text. So you can see I have all these different cards to choose from. Okay. But you can upload your own artwork and I'll go back here to Artwork Central. That's the page, the Create Design page here. And you can see all the cards that I have saved here. Okay. <clears throat> so the next thing to do is create a campaign from that artwork that you uploaded um, or you designed online. So I'm going to go back to the home page here, which is the campaign area. Your cards will show up to the right here. These cards are all um, have all been approved by me and are sitting here. All you have to do is create campaign by click this button here, name the campaign, whatever you would like, name it, whatever you would like, click create campaign. And now the campaign will show up on the, under your current campaigns and they go uh, oldest to newest on this one. So here's the campaign here. Okay. At that point, what you need in your system is funds. Now the funds balance is right in this area here. And what funds are is very similar to using Google or anything like that, where it just pings your account. So every time you mail a postcard, we ping your postcard 43, let's say it's a four by six, it's 43 cents, pings the postcard, pings your funds balance. You can put as much or as little as in this funds balance as you would like. And adding funds is as simple as clicking this button, typing it in, saying whether you want a credit card or a call in payment, and add the funds to your account. So you can put as little or as much as you want in there, um, depending on how much volume of mail you do and how much you're comfortable putting into the system. So the next important part is how to connect to Batchbook. On this page here, when you first sign in, it has a Connect Now button. You click that, you can see all the different customers, uh, software customers that we connect to, uh, Batchbook being the newest one. All you have to do is click on the one you want, click on the edit settings, and the instructions for how to connect are right here. Very simple. Um, it's only two options that you need here. You have your account name, which is actually the uh, URL of your Batchbook account beginning of the URL and then you need your API key and it tells you where to find that in the instructions here. Then you just click connect and then you say use my batch book connection. If you see this batch book logo up on the top you've been successfully connected to batch book. At that point you now you can import names from batch book to mail your new campaign to. So you can search by tags it pulls all of your tags that are inside your batch book and you can tag people say mail Friday uh, and put a date, tag them there. You can mail them all. Um, you can also do it by first name. I'm going to type in, uh, we're going to look for Benjamin White. He's in our system here. I'm going to click that. So now it's talking to batch book securely and pulling the data over. You can see the entire site is, is secure. You can see the two names that it found. And we're going to mail a card to Benjamin White. Okay, so I'm going to click this off. I don't want Benjamin Co. I'm not going to send him anything. Okay, then I'm going to name the list. Okay, we're going to name this Wednesday. Whoop. And I'm going to save the list. Okay, it tells me I have one name to mail. What campaign do you want to send them? I'm going to send them this grout cleaning campaign. It tells me exactly how much it costs, 63 cents, and the cost per piece. In this case, we're only sending one. And all you do is click Mail Campaign Now, and OK, and it's mailed. <clears throat> the cool thing about that, at that point, when you've since you've connected to Batchbook, you're able to go into your Batchbook account. I'll switch over to ours. And you'll be able to see what we do is we automatically tag that contact in your database. We automatically um, contact, uh, I'm sorry, put a tag 
in there that references the um, campaign name. So here I sent him the grout cleaning campaign. So now you can do a search in here and see how many people purchased, how many people um, did, uh, you know, uh, went to the next step in your marketing plan uh, based on which campaign that you sent them. So that's how simple it is to, to mail a postcard and attach your data from Batchbook. Um, and then the next options that we have here, we have a lot of different options on the site, is if you want to purchase a new list and mail to people on a new list, you click Purchase List. And this is our Google Map tool that connects to multiple mailing lists. We're going to search the consumer mailing list. We're going to put in an address that we want to go from. Click Begin Search, and you see the map has loaded. I'm in state mode here, so I'm going to say I want to find the zip codes around this area. And when you do that, you can see the blue showing up here. Click on the zip codes, and what you have is real time. These are live counts uh, to the Axiom database uh, of how many people in that area. Um, from here, you can edit the demographics of the area of the uh, person you're looking for. Um, each, each type of list has different uh, demographics. This one has age, income range, homeowners, most of the highest requested uh, demographics from our customer from our customers. And you can update any of these, say update counts, and it will recalculate for you. Then you just check out, purchase the list, just click add to cart, purchase the list, and it shows up back in your home area. And you can just uh, select list here, upload select list, then you just click the import save purchase list and you can pull it into here and you can select the list here and it'll show up over on here and you can decide what to mail to them. Um, you can also upload your own list. If you have lists, other lists that you have um, or exported list, you can upload that. The disadvantage of uploading them this way and not connecting to Batchbook is it won't reference Batchbook after you're finished. So you want to use the Batchbook um, connection if possible. Another really cool tool is called Quick Add. In Quick Add, we use this here a lot, and we know we have a, a lot of insurance agents that use it a lot. And um, you can click the Quick Add button and pick a campaign you want to mail them to, type in the name, type in the name like that, type in the address, add another address, add another address, and you can just put a couple you know, uh, you know, five or six names in here, whatever you want, and then click mail campaign now and it mails to them. Um, it then saves that to your your list and it dates it with today's date. So you know which date you mailed those those um, people. So I showed you the tags already that we do in Batchbook, and that's one of the things that we talk back and forth between that software and ours. Now I want to show you the reporting tools that Direct Mail Manager has. Click on reports. There's uh, reporting tools in here. The first one that comes up is called mail counts. And we'll look at this grout cleaning. We'll see. I'll go back a week and see. And it says here that I've mailed 104 of those on the uh, 10th. So you can check any of the other ones. I'm not sure if any of these have been mailed. Nope, that one's been mailed. So this is a very standard tool for you to see how many you've mailed. And then down here is a table. You can also click two months year and quarter and so forth. One of the great tools is called the ROI report. So you can see how well you've done with each of these mailings. This also connects to Batchbook, which is which is very cool. So I'm going to go pick um, a, a tag from Batchbook. You can see how many people ordered grout cleaning. It's going to pull that up. It says 100, 104 people. Um, again, you can tag these people any way you want. So you could say grout cleaning order. You could say anything you want in there to make sure you tag it. You say each time you do it, it's $95. And it gives you a very uh, easy to understand return on investment. This one, of course, is an outstanding return on investment of 2,090%. But you can get a good idea here. You can see how much it costs, how much you made, and then what's the return on investment. Okay. The what if report doubles your numbers down on the bottom to give you an idea 
if you were to double the size of the mailing, what would you be looking at? Um, and uh, it gives you a better estimate on whether you should continue that project or not. The A-B testing tab lets you compare two campaigns. So we'll do grout cleaning and then we'll do the carpet cleaning. And we'll say how many people did grout cleaning. So 104 at $95. And then let's say the carpet cleaning we did. I don't think I have a tag in here for carpet cleaning. But let's say we did the carpet cleaning. <clears throat> Actually, you know what? I'm going to do the all floors campaign because I see we have some data in there. It's all floor, different types of floors campaign. I'll click that. And there's only one of those. So we have 95. Let's say this one was, uh, you know, $300. You can get a pretty good idea of which one did better. Okay. Um, even though you only had one response on this, it caught you. You sold $300. You're getting pretty close between the two ROIs. On, on how much how much you spent on the marketing and how much you made on the marketing. Another cool tool in the system is called mail tracking. Mail tracking is tied directly into the uh, United States Post Office, and every time your card leaves the building, every place it stops, it's scanned. And by knowing that, you're able to see where it is in the country, how long things take to be delivered. Um, if you have a campaign, you can watch it. Um, be delivered um, in different locations. Um, you also can uh, get a better understanding of how the post office operates. So the first thing that starts off, I don't have any uh, items on this map here, but the first one that starts off here is the truck. The truck means, the black truck means that it's at a bulk mail center and it is um, going to go out from that bulk, large mail center, which is a bulk mail center, to a smaller post office for delivery. The green means it's at the post office for delivery. That means it's at your local post office and usually will be delivered the, fall, the same day or the following day, depending on what time of night it's scanned. Um, so you can watch that go across the country and zoom in. It's all done, excuse me, with a Google Maps system. And uh, so you'll be able to see these different points of interest put on each side on each part of the map. You can do a search, obviously, through the dates and you can update the map that way as well. Um, two other things that we offer are mobile landing pages and um, QR code tracking. And these things are, are part of the Platinum plan. And if you're interested in that, I would definitely call us or um, read about it some more online. I don't want to get too involved in this, but we can actually um, uh, track QR codes. If you put QR codes on your mailing and we can track where they, where they go and um, what pages they look at and so forth. And it's a great tool to integrate your online marketing and offline marketing. And we definitely recommend it if, if, you're, um, if you're using uh, a website to gather uh, leads or if you're using a website to interact with your customers at all, it's definitely a great tool. And the um, landing pages are made in-house here and uh, are customized by our staff over here. So you don't even have to do anything as far as the page itself. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to look at here is, um, let's go back here. So I showed you how everything worked in Batchbook. Um, I see that the webinar was supposed to be attended by, uh, by Bill at Batchbook, and he's not here. Um, so I wanted to just go ahead and um, ask if anyone has any questions. And if you have any questions, feel free to uh, type a question in the question box. And um, I'll be glad to answer it for you. One of the questions I had was about uh, customer support. And if you go under the support tab here, our support staff is, whoops, I'm going to close that out. Our support page, let's see, the online support center. We have the online support center, and we also have artwork templates, software integrations, and uh, instructional videos. The instructional videos are here. They show pretty much every different um, aspect of the system and how to use it. 
and uh, those are easy to view in there. And there's some other marketing videos we have in there as well. Then the um, other option is our support center. Our online support center has um, everything from information about production and billing to um, integrations and then news updates um, from our uh, company as well. Our toll-free number is on every page and you can call or you can chat online just by clicking this button here. You can start a live chat session with one of our uh, customer support representatives. And we are an East Coast company located in Florida. So we're open at um, from <clears throat> about 8.30 in the morning to five o'clock at night Eastern time. And um, so anytime you have any questions, you can ask. Does anyone else have any other questions? <clears throat> 